I recently just completed a one month trip going around Asia. I went to Thailand, Malaysia and Indonesia. And one of the biggest concerns that I had on my trip was sorting out and managing travel insurance. I didn't know whether or not it was gonna be, you know, hundreds of dollars for the time that I was away or potentially even thousands of dollars. And in this video today, I'm just gonna be sharing what I did and how I believe I got the most bang for my buck. And also found an insurance provider that has actually had claims and videos made in regards to people actually having incidents and then calling this specific insurance provider and getting their claims essentially sorted. So when I was first looking for insurance providers, I did the regular thing that somebody would probably be doing in 2023 if they didn't know and understand something. I just basically watched lots of YouTube videos about it. I'd input, you know, travel insurance providers and people's experience with travel insurance and what were the best providers essentially. And there were a few different like travel content creators, you know, making videos about different things. And of like most of the videos that I saw, there was like two kind of main ones frequently occurring about. I think there was one called like World Nomads or something like that. And I think why it was like being frequently promoted is because there's quite a strong affiliate program for that specific insurance provider. But the other one that I found that a lot of people were frequently talking about was this one called Safety Wing. And when I was comparing Safety Wing to like other different insurance providers, when I'd search like New Zealand travel insurance, it was like significantly cheaper. Ultimately, regardless of what, you know, the insurance providers were offering, my biggest concern was that if I were to have an accident, would the insurance provider, you know, actually be able to help me with my situation in terms of like the whole process, right? And I remember when I was going through this whole process trying to find travel insurance, I think I had seen at least two videos of people sharing their experience with Safety Wing once they had actually had an accident. And I get the impression that if I were to go with like maybe a New Zealand travel insurance provider, I probably wouldn't be able to see many actual like video experiences of their experience if they were to have an accident, the whole claim process and, and all that stuff. Basically how they charge their customers or clients is depending on how long you're you're traveling, you'll be charged a certain amount based off like a few variables, like your age, for example. I think globally, you're basically charged the same rate, excluding uh, if you're traveling to America. If In that case, it's usually like twice the price um, from when I click this filter anyway, like the price is virtually doubled from, you know, $45 per month, it goes to $83 at the time of recording. On the screen, what I'll do is just share what the insurance kind of includes. So basically, I think you have a deductible of $250, which I'm pretty certain the, the terminology of a deductible is that you need to pay that out of pocket if you're submitting some sort of claim. So uh, for example, if you have like a $5,000 hospital, hospital bill on your trip and you're wanting to you know claim that back essentially from your insurance provider, you need to pay $250 out of pocket. Also as well, while I think of it, if I didn't say before, this is not a recommendation to use Safety Wing. The reason why I'm making this video is because I figured it would be valuable me showcasing my experience and why I decided to use a specific insurance provider. So I'm not saying you should do anything or you know you should use this one or any of the you know, kind of reasoning I did in this video. I just want to showcase my experience and what I actually did because there are so many variables that go into it and I don't really want to come across as somebody saying that you should do this, you should do this. That's definitely not what I'm doing. I just want to share my experience and how I did something and kind of just try to help people out because honestly, there are actually so many routes that you can go down with travel insurance. Like for example, something that I'm probably going to be looking at in the future is having um, some sort of luxury credit card with these credit cards. You can actually get your insurance paid for if you use the credit card to book your trip. It really just does depend on the scenario and I guess the trip you're taking. Also, if you do come to the conclusion that you do want to use Safety Wing, I decided that I'd become an ambassador for Safety Wing, which I think is basically just like a fancy word for an affiliate. And basically what that means is I'll get a 10% compensation for any amount that you pay on the Safety Wing site. For example, I think if you get like one month's worth of cover, that might cost like $50 and my compensation would be like $5 from that if you use my link when signing up. So if you want to support me, that'd be greatly appreciated. Totally not necessary, but I just thought I would mention it because it's probably just worth it. And if you want to get some other valuable tips in my perspective about how, why I do some things, I'll leave some videos on the screen that might be helpful here. 